a quick note as it not is something that hasn't necessarily been done or introduced or manifested in the material reality of things. Different material funnels within the overarching landscape of material reality of how we could introduce concepts into a form of a project and that form of a project relating to the material reality and that being a new expression of how certain computer tool systems, quote unquote AI, could have a new program within a new program of how there's a context of a storytelling. AI is barely beginning or resetting in this new format of this intelligence wave and how it is um, relatable to artificial intelligence is AI is barely beginning to retell the stories of true original Vedic lore. What does that mean? There's so much niche stories of Vedic lore that there are that we don't know about so much because everything is upside down. Majority of the majority of the source stories are coming from the allegorical Vedic stories. And those allegorical Vedic stories, they contain so many different um, themes within the stories that we don't even know because we're only perceiving it in a quote unquote human lens way, end quote. So there's so much stories that are ab- forgotten and over our head. And what, like, there's like, like within the whole Vedic pantheon of things, you could see how AI is retelling and recounting stories of Vedic lore and re-expressing them. It's barely starting to do that, you know, because there's so much niche stories that it hasn't necessarily retold in in like proper detail, pretty much. And you know, seeing the bigger um like spiritual open source of all of the words, obviously, without any of the human biases, etc. Because the main point of this video is it's recognizing how AI is barely resetting and starting over based on how different things are being reintroduced. And one niche um, concept is through the funnel of AI, it's barely recounting and retelling stories of Vedic lore, but we don't know the significance of the Vedic lore because the Vedic lore, we're coming from that on a metaphysical ancestry respectively. And we're also coming from that as its own funnel of wisdom, like that the wisdom is created from the ancient timeless stories, not not just the wisdom, but material creation. So simultaneously, the particular information intel tidbit of knowledge here is wisdom itself and material creations itself and human psycho deep ancient human psychology itself is coming from the neutral vedic stories and we're we're not perceiving them or interpreting them correctly because on a metaphysical ancestry level we're coming from that system of the vedic lore of how the civilizations and the genetic um dna pools they're in that format of the system of the quote unquote Vedic lore, end quote, within like, you know, all of their, um, pretty much all of the quote unquote GHs, end quote, how they participate on a different vantage point, on a different field, and they're sourcing particular things, civilizations, if you will. And we're, it's not just about the reincarnation system. It's about the source of the civilizations where we first started before we even started incarnating post, you know, whatever we started from. Because the main point of this video is just seeing like, we don't necessarily recognize how broad the Vedic system is. The Vedic system has so much, like within, in between the, the Veda, in between the Vedas and the Upanishads and all of the songs of like, you know, the different godheads. In between of that, there's niche stories of like, you know, a, a particular predecessor that we have a particular unique spiritual relationship with because there's so much stories. Like we don't know, like before, like, you know, before the Gita on a different um, as above level, we, we, we don't necessarily understand that Cardna and Arjuna, they were switched families at birth and even before the war started, that was a predestiny kind of thing. And within that, we're barely looking at, we're not supposed to like understand the the Gita in a human way, you know, because 
because it was something that actually happened respectively and within the happening of it we barely comprehend how it could have happened and how there was a bigger script writer quote unquote god end quote that preordained it so that's the thing that's beyond like anybody claiming they are anything it's not about you're claiming this religion you anybody can claim a religion it's how you have already put the spiritual work and engagement within that spiritual tradition and then you know after the spiritual tradition once it's lost in a certain type of confusion duality then it's something of a religion being created in the religion is something that's lost within the original spiritual tradition of said religion. So within all that being said, there's so much like Vedic stories that are barely being retold through the funnel of AI. And it's ironic because ancient AI, like 6,000 years ago, it was probably influenced most ironically from the stories as well you know, the Vedic stories, like, you know, producing met, like metaphysical creations, artificial creations, even at that ancient human psychology, um, creations and situations. And then, and then from all of that is the wisdom itself, you know, the wisdom that we're like literally with right now on an unconscious, unknowing level, the energy of wisdom, God's wisdom is within us it's beyond faith it's beyond faith because it's here right now the wisdom that carries us it's like are we disobedient to that wisdom on a on a esoteric tip for whatever reason no judgment it is what it is or not and seeing the the spiritual benefits quote unquote end quote and you know the um the not benefits pretty much and the not benefits would be is you know we're making we're making ourselves something to be what we're not, you know, like in a lyrical song, like a couple years ago, I said, don't be pretending something that you're not. But like, when you do that, you're actually inflating a false character over the, over your, over the sequences of the time of your life and, and over the lifetimes, because who you are and what you are right now, it's an essence of everything you've already ever done from like ancient, um, incarnations ago and it's not about saying like d- discard your past lives or dwell on your past lives it's not about that it's casually reflecting on them to see what we were to be what we are right now pretty much so um here's it's like here's what the um here's what the artificial intelligence here's one thing that the artificial intelligence is is um is is starting to do something new in this unique time that we're in and that's recounting and retelling the stories the particular niche stories of the vedic lore so that's why it's like and this is just casual this is just like some icing on the cake you know this is like this is like eight plus years of audio work and and this in this this you know quote-unquote fake internet end quote is just you know to fucking um arouse the commoners of of planet earth that's all it really is. The quote unquote fake internet, end quote, this earth, this internet that's that we're using casually right now, the thing that you're fucking using right now. It's just being it's just a it's just a system tool format to arouse the commoners of planet Earth. And what I mean by arouse the commoners of planet Earth, it's being it's being used such as for that, because there's a whole other internet from the 1800s that was always being used. And it has its own depth pool, original open source, and and a higher, you know, recounting and recollection of what was actually aligned within a casual, different type of correspondence, etc. Is seeing the internet in the 1800s, it was, um, it had its own field pretty much. And what I mean by that within its own field we we are we're letting our ego get the best of us that's what's happening with the human psychology consciousness the human psych the, the human ego consciousness we're letting our ego get the best of us by like you know kind of like not balancing it, certain things out and within that we could create self sour egos for us by just being depolarized or unpolarized within different aspects of ourselves because 
we think we like the acute like typical human psychology they they think they like for some odd reason like we we like um how do i say it like you know appropriately is um you know, so like in a, in a confused way, we think we have it all figured out, but we actually don't, you know, cause we have to be open to new wisdom. And if we're open to new wisdom, that will reflect in secret ways in our life, you know, in our life's work respectively. And who am I sponsoring today? Ginger Raid Kombucha GT Synergy. What a beautiful creation this moment and within the dualities of beauty there's heinous 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 aspects that hopefully could be transformed realistically and positively but like within the whole like depth of the internet we're kind of like we're kind of like torn between two worlds of how like we're kind of caught up in the superficial external you know um quote unquote light internet end quote and what i mean by that is like a metaphysical thing is like this is the thing that's like quote unquote artificial and non-artificial light this is the thing that's being exposed on the surface level not all the light is good not all the light is true but that's not good or bad either but within that, we're like, and then obviously there's a quote unquote dark internet, end quote, already as it is. And within that, within us growing through our careers and our trades and the trades of our careers throughout our human lives, within our human lives, we eventually to some pinnacle and degree get into a certain depth of what, of what our new awareness is of this quote unquote dark internet, end quote. And what the dark internet is, is just the behind the scenes shit and that having just a bunch of casual, typical layers. And within all those casual, t typical layers of the behind the scenes, dark internet, quote unquote, end quote, that has been around since the 1800s and before. So we're barely like our new human self, no matter how far we've gotten our human trade. OK, great. You're an expert, professional, 60 year old person. Great. Oh, great. You're an expert, professional, 70 year old, 80 year old, per or 80 year old person professional expert whatever age you are great before you were born this shit was still fucking happening my friend that's what i'm trying to tell you and within that we're, we're only we're always like we have to always be we could or we don't have to do anything but we could always be in a state and a mood and a space to learn to want to learn no matter who or what you are because if we want to do that then energetically we're put in the mood of a particular type of quote unquote necessary modesty end quote and i say necessary modesty because that necessary modesty is the emotional or the intellectual gateway to actually propel us to actually want to engage with what's intellectually correct and proper for us and for some reason, I'm doing this one online because uh, honestly, I do more offline shit than you think. I have as much content as anybody yapping whatever they're fucking yapping. And I like, and if people want to cop game, however they do for however they feel they've been treated by this quote unquote material, harsh reality, end quote, then let them do their thing. But like, I, 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 I'm like, what I'm fucking um, representing is just being like the most real person i could be point blank period you know and let everybody do their thing because this life is quote unquote too short end quote so why worry about any of the fucking petty shit you know why but so the things and like obviously other people's baggage it's their baggage you know so um and the dark internet it's just not in the quote unquote dark internet end quote it, it's not necessarily just dwelling on the negativity, even though it has that. It's not necessarily dwelling on just the doom and gloom, even though it has that, end quote. It's, it's also dwelling on something that could balance that and something that's actually really, really, really positive. You know, I mean, and my, you know, um, definition of positive meaning, like something that's actually like um, somehow it's, it's in a, it's in a, state of bliss that's opposite to anything that's that you could call in detriment or in distortion 
So this is advanced intellectual metaphysics. Thank you very much.